Okay, so I spent an hour downtime, and then I'm like, uh, actually, due to certain reasons, I kind of want to continue a little bit further than I'm just kidding, so... There's things, other things that I should be doing. I've eaten. But, uh, well, there's other things I should be doing. Um, I'm not doing it. Anyway, it's time for 72 quest. No, I'm looking guests. Uh, begging your pardon, sir, but do you per perchance intend to head outside? If so, I would strongly advise that you not st you not to stray too far from the Crystallion. Word has it Yulmore has dispatched its military to Lakeland. Given the timing, one would only assume that they do not welcome the return of night. And that even now, the Exarch is in the ocular, liberating response. Oops. Let, let me just say one of the reasons why, why I'm back. It's because, so I was doing offline stuff of, you know, doing a, a, a Aether Current quest. Check out what my like lit. I got all the Lakeland other ether currents, and then I have four left. And then I found out I can get these relatively quickly by doing, or at least unlocking three of these quests by getting like a couple quests into this next section. I'm like, ah, uh, what the hell? Uh, Kalusha, uh, I can't do these other five until I can get up to the upper tier. On top of the map, uh, and then there's a couple. Qu the, these three quests are all in the top of the map. Amarang is basically having the same issue. Just instead of top, it's to the left. But I have to wait on these, unfortunately. But Lake Lynn, I might be able to fly sooner than later. Anyways. Let's go to the. I know what's going on. Yulmar's invading. Ah! All I can say is, Yulmar, just stay in your corner! You sin lovers. You are come at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Oh. Hey. Oh, I do have volume up. Hey, even better. Lax and Loft, they have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Enter.
Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We owe people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmor's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, My lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmor considers this tantamount, to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead, and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course, it will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you, I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. Am I imagining things, or did he just stare straight at us? I fear he did. The General is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmor's army since before Vorthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If Yulmor chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. It is noble of you to say, Master Alphano, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmor has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. 
The people of the Crystarium know this only too well. Which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Wait. I'm sorry. Generations of Minfilias? Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. I mean, I know of one Minfilia who came here as the, with the oracle of light or voice of the mother or whatever her title was. With the Art Burt and Friends. Out of curiosity. Yes? Is you're after books pertaining to the Warrior of Darkness. I'm afraid most are out alone at present. They're experiencing quite a surge in popularity. Oh, you wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it will be my pleasure to assist. After I've finished off some few outstanding tasks, that is. Uh, while I attend to them, perhaps you, can, you could fetch me a book. Uh, the Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. Though it's intended for younger readers, it proves an excellent summary of the subject matter, and the artwork is quite lovely besides, and I would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone with an interest in learning about Minfilia. But you must see for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Should I say... Should I say, for, well, there is a place for everything here, and not everything is always in its place, despite my best efforts. In short, if the book is not where it should be, it most certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, um, good luck! book doesn't appear to be here. Book doesn't appear to be there. Just as your eyes begin to blur, you finally come to 
<laughs> sure, it's beginning to blur. I just come to rest on a copy of The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light. That must be the restriction section below. Have you found the book? Yes, this is the one. I hope it is, wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I finished all my pressing tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we'll begin learning at once. I can't remember if there's with it. I'm going to turn it up anyways. Without further ado, then. It began a hundred years ago. The flood of light threatened to swallow Novrant. Just as all seemed lost, a savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance, maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear sapphire. Not was known about her, save for that her name was Minvilia, and, of, and for the delivery of the realm, she came to be referred to as the Oracle of Light. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. But fifteen years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. Turn it down because it's not for When Cynidius laid ruin to the kingdom of Vobert, a young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's blighted touch. One with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear sapphire. She was hailed as the Oracle Reborn and came to likewise be called Minfilia. Listing in the Yildmoran army, this Minfilia fought and vanquished countless Cynidius. Alas, like so many soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. Yet with her dying breath, breath she whiffed onto her grieving comrades, Minfilia will return. And true to her words, some years later, another young girl was discovered to possess the same, self-same eyes, self-same hair, and those self-same powers. She too took the name Minfilia. She too fought at Sinidas as a soldier of your moor, and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her foot. And so the cycle continues to this day. And that concludes the tale. By their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Norvrant on numerous occasions. And were it not for them, we might never have learned of the Light Wardens and their nature. They sound like formidable warriors. Some, perhaps. The truth is rather less simple. Though the Oracle is reborn with certain common traits, she does not inherit the memories or the knowledge of her previous incarnations. All of the Minfilias thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war and ignorant of the power they harbored. While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not. But all were made to face a synod, and all died to keep their hopes alive. What can you tell us of the current Midvilia? She was found by the Murin army about ten years ago and taken into their care. Or rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name. For by that time, under Lord Bavothry's rule, Yulmor had already abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. Minfilia was an uncontrollable reminder of the war they no longer wished to fight, a potential threat to the peace, so they kept her under lock and key. For a long while, we heard nothing more of her. We couldn't even be certain she was alive, save that it was in the Yulmor's best interest for her to remain under their control. Then three years ago, a gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tale. Indeed. Well, I believe we now have a good grasp of Mephilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Moren. 
Might have trouble you for uh, Desico's side. As you will have already surmised, the gallant soul who rescued Minfilia was none other than our own dear Thancred. They have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. We know that Minfilia journeyed here as Heidelin's emissary to halt the flood of light. It would only be it could only be her that the people of the first witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Oracle of Light. But while there is plenty, plainly some connection between the women we knew and her namesakes, the fact that these girls do not share their memories must surely mean they are not the same person. Bancred has to understand that. I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how we feel. Regardless, the Thancred we know would not forsake his charge. If she had been captured, we might, may be certain he would not stand Stand idly by. There we go again, talking your roundabout way. If you think we should rescue Minfilia, just spit it out. It just so happens, I agree with you. It is quite clear that this Minfilia possesses Heidelin's blessing. And it wouldn't hurt to have a second such individual on our side. Right, as it goes? I mean, Esco says an ego, but I don't think one's generally been enough, but fine. <laughs> Oh, how egotistical is he? No, no, he's been pretty much the one. The, the uh, Minfili has always been on the back burner. <laughs> I see you've made up your minds. Exarch, what brings you here? A report and a proposal. First, the report. Our scouts have confirmed that the Yulmuren armies are at Lexenboff do indeed have Minfilia in their custody. For the present, they are holding her there, but we can be certain they will move her to Yulmur ere long. Should that happen, we'll be, we may be forced to give her up as lost. So we, mo so we mean to, so if we mean to act, we should go do so quickly. Which brings me to my proposal. I ask that you entrusted this undertaking to us. You ask, I ask that you entrust this undertaking to us, the people of the Crustarium. What? <laughs> Let us see what the exotic has to say. Entrust Benfilius rescue to the people of Crustarium? All right, then. And with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. T'was not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens. But so long as hope burns in our hearts, we will fight on regardless. This I will prove to you. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. 
There is something I would ask you all. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmor a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the General condemned the slaying of the Light Warden, and warned me in no uncertain terms that, should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. <sighs> Let none be mistaken. We would be hard-pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulmor. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? My lord, you already know our minds. It brought tears to our eyes to witness the knight's return. The whole of Norvrant deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmor's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. The flow of goods will dry up and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those Yulmoran bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Trust you to spoil the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it appears we have a consensus. Let it be known that the Yulmoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters, and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmor's ultimatum. Hear, hear! Hear, hear! In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. And there you have it. If Yulmor wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. My lord, our proposal is as follows. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle.
Very good. See to your preparations. And what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. <laughs> If excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. Well, Lena, what will we have us do? So you'll be draining their guard, or however highly, but however highly the Exarch thinks of you, you are received no special treatment from me. That clear? Where's your salute, soldier? Oop. <laughs> Better. More spirited than the Exarch's feeble attempts, certainly. <laughs> now, first things first. You will need uniforms. Go to the crystalline mean and report to Catlas. She will see you measured and fitted. That, that, that is my attempt at trying to do do the attack. Ah, crystalline mean. You have gear for a Lollafell? Ah, there's the last of them. Your friends are being measured as we speak. Right this way, we'll see to you look at your dashing best for your first outing. And are you? We'll, let's have a look at those numbers. I mean, we could have just said, hold on a moment, popped over to the source, talked to Tataru, and said, hey, you measured me before. Can I get those measurements? Why? Trust me, I just need it for a thing. It should be like, okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. All right, I'll be right back. Teleport. <laughs> All right, see you. See, see, see you later. <laughs> Teleport. Don't see her for for a while. How goes it? Sorry, Captain. I'm afraid we don't have anything on hand that will readily fit, but we do have a few that are fairly close. We'll be able to make them work with some minor adjustments. Very well then. See to it and have the uniforms delivered directly to the field. You got it. I shall take this opportunity to brief you on the mission. As mentioned earlier, we'll deploy Amaro to Amaro to scatter dream powder from the air. Once the powder takes effect, an elite unit will storm the fortress to rescue the Oracle. Her safe liberation is our sole objective. Engagement is to be avoided wherever possible. I assume you were to be part of that of said unit? Correct. The unit will be divided into two contingents, one deploying from Fort Job and the other from Ostal Imperative. You and Alfno will join the former. Esagos, meanwhile, will join the latter with me.
Before we proceed to your positions, you are to report to Chesamil at Spregeritz. Spregeritz. She will issue you with a serum to ward off the effects of the dream powder. We shall be on our way then. And take care, my friend, and we will see you in the field. It's quite far to the imperative, so you may, may make use of an Amaro from the Rookery after you have collected the serum, of course. The right arm on top or the left arm? I don't remember. So, also game. Actually, the um, no, the eighth right might have been a little bit closer, but this kind of has the direct route. I don't have to like come down the stairs, and turn around, just. Gaily forward. Yes, yeah, sweetie, is this something you need? Oh, when did the god god come to your dram? Oh, when did the god come for your dram? Are you? Here you go. A dose of this will keep you firmly in the waking world while your enemies are off in dreamland. Now, if it. If this is your first time, I should warn you, it is bitter sin. Princess Kiss, they call it. If you ask me, it should be called Crone's Kiss. <laughs> Just aside, this stuff really is foul. Most people gag like there's no tomorrow, but if you don't drain every last drop, you're liable to end up taking a trip to Dreamland yourself. So I must ask you to drink it here and now while I watch. Come on. Give the old crone a kiss. <laughs> Well done, sweetie. I'm proud of you. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd even say you enjoyed it. And now you needn't fear falling asleep in the battlefield. Just have care that you don't lose any limbs out there, all right? They don't tend to grow back. Rickery. Yes. Yes, what do you require of me? Uh, I need a Mar to get to the imperative. Mar to take you to the imperative, eh? As much as I would like to oblige, all the amounts are reserved for the coming operation. I fear you will have to go out by foot. Uh, but wait. There might as well be another, assuming you're willing to lend a hand. Ah, enlightenment. Now I have an AoE to, to uh, spend my um, chakra on. Instead of just forbidden chakra, which is a one-hit wonder. Zem Denjmai has tasks for you to be willing. But to deliver tomorrow to Redicus Round, one of the locations where the beast, beast will fly for the operation. The tower lies along the route to the to the Imperative, and if near enough to near enough is good enough for you, you may make the delivery in my stead. Very good. I shall ready the Amaro for departure at once. It goes around to the north and west. You can take the road or you can fly. It's up to you. And upon arriving, make yourself known to the sentry and she will give you further instructions. If you should become separated from the MRO, worry not. The beast is, is trained to return to the rookery. That's all. Oh, well. I mean, the question is... The, the thing is... Like, why wouldn't I fly? Cover from the map.
Actually, I'm going to save Discovery for when I can fly on my own. Just think, eventually on my main character, I will have one of these that I can fly anytime I want to. This is Lax and Loft up there. No, oh, you're delivered now tomorrow to us. I'm afraid there's been a change of plan. We already have all the beasts we can require. Instead, this one could go to the imperative to the west. Please see it to the handler on duty. Zelji Venathu. Venathu. Venthu. You can cut her trouble along the path. Return here and I'll set you right. <laughs> Basically, checkpoint. Strange thing, it's already been here, so. Instead of taking the Amara, I could just teleport it. <laughs> but you know what? Oh, well, that's tomorrow. Thanks, friend. We do. You may leave the beast with me. Say, I don't believe I know you. Did you join the guard recently? Yeah, uh, kind of. Ah, so that is the way of it. Well, you managed to arrive. Let's, that's all that matters in the end. I bid you welcome to the hostile imperative, one of our key strongholds in Lakeland. The first thing you want to do is report to the captain. We'll find her at the lookout across the way. So it seems that rather than the Amaro delivering you, you delivered the Amaro. Well, not thank you. I expect all of my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. Just have three quests. I can fly. The three quests are all here. <laughs> I'm here for the MSQ. <laughs> the readiness of the operation, the Amaro will need to be treated with the same serum as us. As you well know that, however, it's not pleasant. In order to coax them into taking it, we have sneakered it into the, on their fodder. All that remains is to feed it to them, a task I'm sure you will enjoy. Fetch the fodder from the Amaro lunch and see to four of the beast. This beast. Uh, I'm going to do it, but no, it, it, I need to focus, focus. Like, I really want to fly, but knowing what's going to happen. Uh, so I need, okay, oh. I'm going to have to hide that. Uh, I'm going to hide that and hide that. Okay. All right, treated fodder.
Wee, wee, wee. Mara happily devours fodder. Indolin tomorrow. We? We? Yeah, Mara absolutely munches on the fodder. <laughs> Quest writers. Just saying they have to go up to the anxious tomorrow. The anxious tomorrow says, Gwee, 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 gwee. <laughs> Mara is wary at first, but appetite eventually wins out, and it accepts the fodder. <laughs> Equitable. Mara. We? Oui? Mara reels at the smell, but accepts the fodder nonetheless. Yamara are fed? Good. The rest have already been dosed, so we need not fear any of our mounts are coming to the dream powder. All units are now entering the final stages of their preparations. The time is nigh. Make ready and await deployment atop the main watchtower. I will send your uniform along as soon as it arrives. That is all. May night smile upon us. Of 22 or 30 quests. Wow. I need to like work out quests sometime. Just kind of work on clearing out my quest log. Or my journal. It's not a quest log, it's a journal. Which I do all the time. I hit L instead of J on the keyboard, but they pull up two different things. So. It's for something else, but while I'm at it, might as well do it. Duty! Hey, it's 12.59. Look at that night sky. It's not all bright and shiny at 12. In the middle of the night. The operation is about to commence. Stand ready. During the operation, some of your gear will be glamoured. Your attributes and abilities will be unaffected. Basically, it's saying, don't panic. You're still wearing the gear. It's just going to look different. 
Uh, also, my gear is going to be level sync to 395 because apparently going into this at item level 400 is going to make that big of a difference. Oh, there's VO. I need a desperate fools. It'll take more than a handful like of overgrown music. lizards to ground us. We'll do this with the with the with the full volume. Oh god. Captain, the powder has taken effect. It is time. Let us free the oracle from their clutches. Oh, look at the little Amaro that I got! So cute! I suppose I would have trouble getting on a full-size one. I got the red to the letter. Works just the same, just smaller. No, huh? Where are we going? Can I, can I turn off my helm? I, there. there we go. Alpha Note's got the right idea. Turn off the helm. Oh god! Thank you. 
Okay, I, mean, I want to do some adjustments here. Uh, uh, control K. Now, I'm actually going to turn up the background music and turn down the sound effects. That's it. But I like music. I need less audio. Ah, it's better. Leave this to me! Wait, This soldier... This is the game I There she is! My name's Esco Swinsmall. I'm here to rescue you. I'm here to rescue you. I'm with Ben Kenobi. Oh, wait a minute. I'm with Captain Lena. Thank you. Are you from the Crustarium? Correct. We have come to rescue you. Your weapons made, made to the same specifications as Thancred's. Be ready to use them. Understood. Please leave it away. Alright, let's go. Let's rejoin the others and quit this place. I have this trouble because of me. I'm so sorry. Save your apologies after until after we escaped. It's quiet. Too quiet. Is that Ren Jeet? Jeet? This will not end well. No, because I'm gonna beat his face. 
I'm ready for a fight. Guy looks like a monk. Hmm, brazen thieves. You will regret coming here. Yeah, well, I'll show you what a monk can really do. Get out, Ermit. Maintain this assault forever. Is that an Invincio? The follow thing. Game is up. Know your folly. The VO is or voiceover voice voice acting is more important during fights 
because we can't really take the time to read you boy. the text. You bear a striking resemblance to the artist my master seeks. By all means, keep your counsel. You will all have ample time to confess your crimes back in Yule War. Raised. I would sooner see it raised than conquered. Suffice it to say, we are ready to receive you. What now, Exarch? Will you face me yourself? I think not, General. I've quite exhausted my tricks. If you mean to give chase, I will not stand in your way. But you would do well to tread warily, for your quarry goes to a place where even Yulmore dare not bear its steel. Ilmeg, the Fairy Kingdom. still had the energy to unleash his hounds. Even the most pointless of conflicts may alter a world's course. And now the plan has gone awry. But how? How did the so-called Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the Source to the First? As if I didn't have enough on my hands already. Again, with a soul such as that. Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed.
there was so much uh, stuff where there would be VO and stuff that I had to just keep going. Not so long ago, here in the shadow of the northern ranges, lay the great kingdom of Verbert. A nation with a proud history that the Sin Eaters cut short, just like all the rest. Since that time, these lands have become a haven for fey folk. Dreamers frolicking amidst the ruins of a forgotten realm. We should be safe enough here. I had a quick, quickly answer a question for somebody. It's good to see you again, my friends. I don't know about you, but it feels like years since last we met. Five of them in my case. Why, it only feels like one to me, but long enough to warrant a more convivial reunion either way. What brought you to Laxon Loft? The girl, Minfilia. She and I were traveling together, hunting Sin Eaters. But as we were nearing Lakeland, she abruptly ran off on her own. I found her too late to stop the Ulmorans from taking her prisoner. And as I was considering rescue options, I observed that the Crystarium was on the move. So I consulted the Exarch, who apprised me of the details of the operation and issued me certain instructions. Should the situation take a turn for the worse, I was to see you all safely to Ilmeg. And here we are. Orianger has called this place home for a while now, yet we have never called upon him, I am ashamed to say. It was only at the Crystarium that we met. Hardly surprising. This is not the sort of place one visits on a whim. Happily, having trespassed on Orianger's hospitality for a spell, Minfilia and I have an idea of how things work around here. Sooner or later, the Ulmorans will come after us. But before they do, the Exarch bids us accomplish two things. First, rendezvous with Orianger. And second, eliminate the Light Warden of this land. So, Minfilia... What made you leave Thancred behind, if you don't mind me asking?
You. The hero from another world. I was asleep when I felt it. A presence. Someone I was meant to meet. They were close and... And I knew I had to go to them. But with all the commotion in Lakeland, I was afraid that Thancred wouldn't let me. And would I have been wrong? Had I arrived a moment later, you would be back in your cell in Yulmore. And now we have Ranjit snapping at our heels. You really have outdone yourself this time. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. Oh, poor thing being scolded so. Who said that? Show yourselves. Come now, put away that frown and have some fun with us. Yes, let us have some fun. Lots and lots of fun. Ah. <sighs> Which way was it to Uriange's? We've been there so many times, but I, I'm not... I can't... Oh, why can't I remember? Damn it all. We're already caught in their spell. Oh, there we go. Okay, just sound settings again. Background musical then. Alright. Turn this down. Alright. Eel Meg is the fairy kingdom, and one might as one might expect it is home to the Fey folk. The most prominent among them are the Pixies, who are penchant for causing mischief. They use powerful illusions to play tricks on all who venture into their domain. By way of an example, we will make a familiar path. They make a familiar path seem wholly unfamiliar and lead it, lead you to believe you are somewhere you are not. And we are now. I am sorry to say, entirely at their mercy. And I get some transmog. I mean, glamour. I will always call it transmog. I like plant terms a lot better than glamour. Personal opinion, of course. <clears throat> As it stands, we cannot hope to find the way to Oriange. For that, we must convince the pixies to lift the spell. From what I can make of the voices, the creatures want to play with us. If that is the case, they should permit us to find their village, Leader Loran. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion this path will lead us directly into their... Oh, and I should mention that Minfilia has been informed of our situation. Of the different worlds and our mission. You may consider her an ally. Cause I, I don't know. I can find my way just to open up the map. They'll do, right? That's okay. I'm not confused. I get. I, I got a map. Stone bears a striking resemblance to a morrow. On closer inspection, the stone appears to be a large horn. Perhaps you could blow in the horn some morrow. Though it might be prudent to leave a rental fee just in ca case.
Didn't mean to do that. There's all these people around, you know? Hey, it's all right. Well, here we are. If the pixies are nowhere to be seen, knowing them, their games have already begun. In which case, let's go. So, there's a variety of plant native to these parts with a distinctive furled tip. Looking glass grass is what is its name, so called because it can be used to spy pixies. Believe it or not, I'll explain how how I know all this. But first, I need you to help me find some. Oh, and if a voice calls to you, under no circumstances should you respond. You will only subject yourself to further mischief. Search the shrub and find nothing resembling the... Only a voice rings out. What is it you see, crowd? Perhaps I can help you find it. Unk. It's a rude child and too clever by half. Seek my fun elsewhere. Hmm... We search a shrub, but find nothing resembling looking grass. Suddenly a voice rings out. Hehehe, <laughs> greetings, mortal. What is your name? Oh, you don't have a name? How very, very sad. I could have had so much fun with it. Hehehe. <laughs> ah, here we go. A face scrub, not shrub. Yeah. Switching the shrub, you find what you find what appears to be looking grass. Suddenly, a voice rings out. Oh, a visitor! Where are you from, pray tell? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps this one's hard of hearing. Ahem. What brings you here? <sighs> Stone deaf. How boring. Still picking plants at our villages. It's as good as indulging in a hospitality, and who are we to turn you away? <laughs> Stay a while. Stay forever. That's not ominous. Body begins to feel heavy. Uh, they, they kind of like, uh, 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 I'm taking you meant for some trouble. Apologies for subjecting you to that. Can I assume that in your presence that you managed to find some looking grass? Yes, here it is. Uh, can I sit down for a moment? Yes, this is the stuff. The sun will be able to see through the pixie's veil of visibility and see them from the first... Seeing them is the first step to dealing with them. Come, let's gather everyone and put Orianje's little trick to good use. Parasitha, Krakleth. No, we are found. How did this mortal know our trick? Wait, I recognize their souls. These two have been here before. Look, look, twins! How adorable! Oh, Play with us! We have neither the time nor inclination to play. 
We have come to see Uriange. Oh, yes, Uriange, the peculiar one. In return for a place in El Meg, he agreed to a riddle contest with us for seven days and seven nights without any sleep. <laughs> Oh, that was so much fun! We must do it again! I'm sure he'd be delighted. Now, if you'd be so kind as to lift your spell. Shall we? Should we? Would we? What now? I don't know. But this is their home, so we must indulge them. Right, we've made up our minds. We will lift our spell on one condition, that you first lend us a helping hand. Or two. Or three. Once you've helped solve all of our troubles, we'll let you see Urion J. Pixie's honour. Well, there you have it. Pixie chores. I suggest we split up. I mean, this is pretty much like standard. We meet new people. We do chores for them to earn their trust. So mean aches for your attention. Ooh, ooh, look at me, look at me, I have a task for you. Little Loran is a beloved village and we want you to always look lovely and it can't look lovely without flowers blooming. No flowers bloom lovelier than ever blooms. So here are some ever bloom seeds. Take them and sow them here and there and everywhere around the village. Simple as a dimple, yes. Ooh, I can't wait for the flowers to bloom. Perhaps there's pretty, cur pretty curtains out of them. What's this one? Mortal, mortal, hear my plea. Our precious children are thirsty, and I need you to bring them water. Who are our children? You ask. Why? They're the leaf men you see standing about our village. Adorable, aren't they? Now we'll need, you'll need to go to Lake Mirror Lake to draw the water. Once you have, see that our children have a good trenching. Oh, and be warned, the swath, swath make their home in the lake. They tend to play rough, so take care. Yes, it's a flying whale. Just ignore the whale. What water will give you a lung fill?
Ooh, you're giving water to our children. Thank you ever so much. You're all very dear to us. They wandered, they wandered into the Meg, the strange mortals, but we grew attached to them and decided to take them in. You and yours would have been our children too, but the enchantment didn't catch as well as we hoped. It's never too late, for course. I can't do a pixie accent. Oh. Help me grow flowers on you and make this house look so lovelier. There used to be a cry from the city of mortals here, a great big bustling place called Vobert or Bovert or some such. But the city leaders came and everybody disappeared. Since then, we pixies have been living here and we're giving the old houses our touch. Lovely, don't you think? Oh, I'm so angry I may faint. Fruit, a little fruit will set me all right. Will you go and fetch some for me? Just outside the village, you'll find a hillock. And two great bell trees grow there. If you give them a shake, they will render up their sweet suckling burdens. I'm going to want to bet that it, it, these are going to attack me in some way.
Turn this one in first. Oh, I'm so hungry. Do you get the fruit? Oh, thank you so very much. You saved me. <laughs> yeah, saved me from my boredom. You could have seen the look in your face when the bugs came down. <laughs> anyway, you've done me a great service, Bortle. If there's one thing we pixies are serious about, it's having fun. Dull and painful things? Hate, hate, hate them! And sin eaters are dull and painful both, so we hate them especially. You mortals try to, to fight this monstrosity, but there's no fun in that. Best to avoid them altogether, we say. I'm giving them a accent, not their accent. All right, maybe I need to study pixies more. You're done sowing the seeds. Thank you. This shall help uh, leader Loran live up to his name, which means flower house, in case you are in Troya. You are always here, you know. We used to live deep in the lush forest. It was a Beautiful beyond compare, but the, almost all of it was swallowed up by the light. For a while we roamed, but eventually we found a place that men had abandoned. Together with our fa fellow fae folk, we decided to make it our new home. The land was an everlasting spring. Of everlasting spring. This is our home, and we will be ours too. Forever and ever and ever. It looks like how you feel. How goes it, Essigas? I got three chores done. Oh, mix of menial tasks and pranks. Yes, that's pretty much sums up my own experience. They had no trouble work. So I mean. How long are we supposed to keep at this? I'm just clearly played with us. Indeed. Whenever I inquire how much more this needs to be done, the answer is ever the same. A little. I doubt I have any intention of releasing us in the near future. Oyanje once told me a story about the pixies. They were born from the souls of those who died as the children, and so it's believed. Though they don't have memories of their previous lives, the desire to have fun remains imprinted on their souls. And so they live only to play, keeping hapless mortals in the pleasure for the years on end, sometimes even until death. Hmm. In the past when I sought to identify the true nature of ghosts, I could, came upon literature examining a similar subject. The soul was linked to a core that resides in the ether. Presence is what dif differentiates us from such beings as sprites and arcane entities. Upon death, said core ordinarily dissipates alongside the ether that composed the flesh. Therefore, it can be held, may be held together and bound to the corporeal realm, either by the will of its owner or by means of certain arts. In time, the soul may get regather ether into itself to assume in another form, or find newly emerged life in which to abide. The pixies may be one such instance. If ghosts are merely souls without bodies, what, what does that make us? I think we've become what, that which we fear most, brother dearest. However, the pixies may have come into being. If we live that, leave them to judge when we are satisfied, they'll never be satisfied. Nay, we must negotiate new terms for, with the creatures. But where to begin? It would seem to me we would at least at least one among them to sympathize with us. In the course of your chores, did any of you encounter a pixie that seemed faintly meanable to reason? Uh, not during my chores, perhaps. What, you knew a pixie from before? Oh yeah, a fair goal. Not only are you acquainted, but you've entered into a pact? You might have mentioned this sooner. At any rate, I de did hope to swallow for us of way. Without further delay, then summon this fail ool, if you will.
Voice rings out in your mind. So my sapling has finally remembered about this, his lovely branch. But with such a half-hearted call, he might as well lob me off and cast me aside. I have no sapling. Please, comma, Theo, cool, comma, I need you. Hmm. Is this your idea of a perfect call? A sodden log could do it. Do it with more fire. Mm, loveliest of friend. Uh, <laughs> loveliest of branch branches. I gotta you gotta spell this right and have like all the correct pronunciation. Otherwise, it doesn't or punctuation. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And it's really hard to read in this really white <laughs> branches. Please. Grant me sucker. Exclamation point. Uh, no! God damn it. All right, try this again. Let me your sucker. There we are. Yuri, I've been waiting for you to summon me ever since you came here. Waiting and waiting and waiting. I think it fails me. Fail. But my no. sapling didn't so much as utter my name. Such a heartless thing he is. Cold and cruel and heartless! Mm. Another self-important little brat. Just what we need. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> oh, Alpha, no! Oh, no! All right, I'm sorry. It was a joke. Honestly, just a joke. But just now you called for me so earnestly, so fervently. I couldn't possibly stay angry at you. Very well. As your lovely branch, I will lend you my strength. enough for you to think of any new games though apparently if i were you i'd be bored of myself now let me make something clear that mortal is mine no matter what you do he will never be yours never never ever oh not even a bit but what about the others surely we can keep them no 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 you can't keep them either they're for my amusement and mine alone if you lay so much as a finger on my sapling, I'll scatter the contents of his bag all over your precious village. Wait, what? <laughs> There'll be cold, hard metal, furry, festering food, stinky, sweaty small clothes, and... and all manner of other terrible, unmentionable things. How would you like that, hmm? All right, all right. But will you not at least let us play with the twins? Just while the others go and see Uri Ah, 
Aye, aye, that's all we ask. And we promise we'll play nicely. <sighs> it seems we won't be joining you. Aye! <laughs> we'll reveal the hidden Fernick to you at once. So this is the true Ilmeg. How are you feeling? Better. I think I remember the way now. Apologies for the delay. Shall we go and see Uriange? It's the second time that he, he, he rhymed stuff. Apologies for the delay. Shall we go see Oriange? Your lovely branch is useful, yes? So whenever you're in trouble, you must remember to make use of me! Now I don't have to type things out anymore. Actually, let's, let's pause here. I need a refresh of our I think one minute. How long? All right, I'm back. For Alpha now at Ali's sake, let us be quick. Be ashamed to return only to find that they have been made to play one game too many. <laughs> now, the place we seek is an abandoned manor of a nobleman and scholar, the Bookman's Shells, it's called, after the fellow's vast collection of tomes. An agreeable habitat for our friend, I'm sure you'll agree. If we follow the path north, we should, be, should find the place. Come along. And there is the matter we seek.
And here we are, long last. I'll give it Orianger's humble. I give you Orianger's humble abode. Come, let us see if he's home. Cutscene. And some music from the Waking Sands. Uriange, are you in? Unto a world weary of heroes, a hero wends his way. The Exarch did send word that thou would seek me out, but ne'er did I imagine thou wouldst arrive so soon. Full glad am I to see thee once more, my friend, and none the worse for thy travails. Run along, Minfilia. We will meet you outside. But... Another one for you to imbue, if you'd be so kind. I take it thou hast met with our other comrades already? Exposition! <laughs> I think I'm using that word right. Please. Hmm. That Master Alfino and Mistress Alize now travel in thy company is of great comfort to me. As for the rest... Comprehensive description and explanation of an idea or theory. Well, close enough. It beginneth in earnest. The hunting of the Light Wardens, and perforce the war with Yulmore. Hark thee then to my words, and through them behold the vision that I did glimpse, that of the Eighth Umbral Calamity. As I drifted hither to the first, traversing the boundary twixt reality and potentiality, I did bear witness to events yet to come. There I saw the combined forces of Eorzea and the Far East offering fierce resistance to the legions of Garlemald. So fierce, in fact, that they did begin to push the enemy back, ilm by painful ilm at first then yalm by yalm, and malm by malm in time. Yet the joy they felt was short-lived, for in so doing they did force the Empire's hand. Faced with defeat, the Garleans turned to a weapon most vile, Black Rose. Its potency defied all reckoning. Once released, the gas took on a life of its own, wreaking untold carnage not only in Eorzea, but in the provinces of the Empire besides. From fighters upon the front lines to babes in their beds, none were spared. And as the casualties became too numerous to count, so did the fabric of civilization begin to unravel. Nor did the land itself escape unscathed. For spreading from the site of its release, Black Rose brought death to the very soil. To survive amidst the chaos and upheaval, men came to live by the sword, the rule of law giving way, inevitably, to the rule of might. Thus was the spark struck and the fire kindled, and swiftly did it spread as a blaze in a field of straw to engulf every corner of the world. Nations worthy of the name did then cease to exist. And those souls brave and true who might have risen to restore order
Haru, Ryle, Bankrid, Ishtola, Twins, were no more, for the weapon spared not one, not even thee. An endless age of war, begotten by the blight of Black Rose, such is the legacy of the Eighth Umbral Calamity which I did behold. No matter the cost, we must forestall this tragedy. To that end, I have labored during my sojourn in this world, discovering in so doing the answer to a pressing mystery. That of Black Rose's inexplicable potency. Come. Dost thou recognize yonder chart? Where are the elements? Indeed. Tis a rendering of the elemental wheel, such as one might find in classrooms across the source. As the chart maketh plain, our world is composed of six elements, in addition to which there exist two poles in fundamental opposition. Astral, the active. Umbral, the passive. As a reflection of the source, the first naturally comprises the self-same forces. Yet, curiously, there is a notable divergence in their nomenclature. To be specific, the denizens of this world employ not the terms astral and umbral. Thus was I moved to inquire what name said forces had been assigned. A simple question which yielded a most unexpected answer. Upon demanding the name of the pole aligned with activity and growth, I was told that as life's myriad colors combined to produce black, the people of the first had called it darkness. At this did my mind begin to race. Yet was only when I asked what name had been given to the pole aligned with passivity that mine eyes were opened to the truth. Peace and tranquility being as purest white unmarred by color, I was told it had been given the name of light. That's umbral light and astral darkness, yes? I'm no etherologist, but it strikes me that the nomenclature of the first is rooted in the generation of the two forces, while our own appears to focus on their effects. Which makes one wonder, have we had it backwards all this time? Tis indeed a compelling question, and one which beareth closer examination. Yet what knowledge we already possess sufficeth to explain the chain of events. The phenomenon of etheric thinning observed in the source is the consequence of light, the power of stasis, flowing in from the first to stifle the movement of ether within the land. And according to Master Alfino, Black Rose slayeth by halting the circulation of ether within living beings. Should such a weapon be unleashed even as the first were rejoined, replete as it is with light, we would have a disaster of untold proportions on our hands. A calamity. 
Well, at least we have a better grasp of what we're facing. Our objective, however, remains unchanged. We are to eliminate the Light Warden of Ilmeg. Speaking of which, were you able to ascertain its whereabouts? Aye. Tis all but certainly ensconced within Leergear, the castle which standeth in the midst of the lake. To enter said stronghold, we must needs turn to the Pixies for aid. Fortunately, I have become quite adept at courting their cooperation. Henceforth shall I accompany you, and do all in my power to ensure that my vision doth not come to pass. I mean, based off of what they would say, because a lot of people think, like, light is order, darkness is chaos. Chaos means a whole bunch of stuff and acting that everybody's doing with a walk. Well, light is everything in order, it's a specific way, it's sticks in a specific thing. Basis. Kind of makes sense. Me. Been going now. Here we are. My friend, Era, seek, speak to the task at hand. There is a question I would pose to thee. What thou thinkest of mine appearance? Ah, did you take up astrology? I know, because I'm an astrologian. Indeed. Thou, the, though the night be lost among the shroud of blinding light, doubt not, but that star shine still. I have chosen to avail myself of their guidance, and I might navigate the sea of uncertainty that stretches before us. For blessing, uh, for blessing my poor prior studies of astrology did provide me with adequate grounding in the art. But enough of myself. Let us now speak of our task. As I did mention, if we are to enter Liegia, we m must needs gain the Pixies' cooperation. It is a simple matter of presenting unto them a suitable gift. I shall procure a selection of viands that shall please their palates. Sankard, please assist me in this endeavor. Meanwhile, Esagos, I bid thee obtain what that which will please their eyes. In these parts that bideth a vile kin known as and for its beautiful, beauteous wings, the hawker. I shall lend thee a receptacle in which thou mayest capture a weakened specimen. Another one, hopefully. Oh, uh, to return, was thou able to capture a hawker? Ah, to their magnificent set of wings, I shall treat them at, at once to make fast their vibrant colors. 
Uh, thank Red 2 shall return anon, uh, upon which I shall ready all the items for presentation. Pray take thine, e thine ease, meanwhile. And time passes. I don't remember if there's any voiceover. Done. The Pixies shall be well pleased with these gifts. Yes. Ah, lest I forget. White Aurasite, newly forged for thy use. Our mission being to thwart a rejoining, we will most assuredly cross paths with those who crave the contrary, our eternal enemies. Thus did I choose to abide in this ether-rich land, the better to fashion a trap for the Asian's essence. May I come in now? You may indeed, assuming you've finished. I did as you asked. That's my girl, thank you. I should probably explain. Though my body remained behind in the source, its limitations saw fit to accompany me. Which is to say, I cannot manipulate ether. I took up the gun blade for its defensive advantages, but on account of my little impairment, I cannot imbue the ammunition myself. Luckily for me, Minfilia has quite a talent for it. Minfilia. Once we set forth, we are not like to return for some while. If thou wouldst choose tomes to take with thee, let it be now. Really? May I? Of course, my dear. Yet have care thou dost not add overmuch to thy burden, lest I incur Thancred's ire. Daddy Thancred and Uncle Oriange. Hast thou spoken to him of thine encounter with the Minfilia of Eld? Well, I suppose now is as good a time as any. As you know, I freed young Minfilia from captivity in Yulmoor some three years past. Not long after, the two of us journeyed to the south of Armoreng, to the edge of the Empty, where the flood was halted. It was there that she awakened. The Minfilia of old. My Minfilia. I haven't had one of these in a while. Tell me, tell me, what must I do to bring you back? My dearest Thancred, as I am now, I am no different from an Asian. This child is but a vessel. One of many I have used that I might spread word of her enduring blessing and preserve the flame of hope. In my name, each has died, never having lived her own life. I have taken enough from these children. I will take no more. But what of your suffering, your sacrifice? This isn't fair! I will not stand for it. I cannot. There must be something we can do. Tell me!
Should the day come when this child grows weary of fighting and wishes to cast it all aside, then shall I take up her burden. But should she wish instead to become the master of her own destiny, then shall I bequeath to her my all. Imbued with the strength that I reserve for rebirth, she may come to wield my powers as her own. And what of my wishes? What of Flamines? What of all the people who love and care for you and want nothing more than to see you again? It is not their decision to make. It is hers. This child's. This Minfilia's. You have ever watched over me, Thancred. Now I ask that you do the same for her. Protect her. Teach her. Stand by her as you stood by me. There is much and more she does not know. She needs a guide to show her the ways of the world, or she will never find her own path. When the time comes, you will find me here. Until that day. Minfilia, wait! What... what happened? And then she was gone. Minfilia, the girl, claims to have no recollection of any of it. I have told her many things, where we came from, what we fight for, but of that day, I have not spoken. You gotta let her know eventually. I guess you guys wouldn't know what to say on this. He wouldn't say, how do you want this to end? I'm gonna let it be. With the coming of another possessed of the blessing of light, the first hath begun to rise up in defiance of its fate. The question remaineth, however, who shall take up the flame of hope which Minfilia hath borne for so long? Whether we will it or no, the choice must soon be made. I'm sorry I took so long. It was so hard to choose. In the end, I settled on just the one. That is well. Now, if all is in order, let us set forth for Lida Loran.
turn down the game volume. Oh. Going back to Little Ran, I could just teleport there. We weren't expecting you all back so soon. You have scarcely been gone playing with the twins. That said, your gifts are truly wonderful. Let me tell you, the milk and honey and biscuits won't last a day. The wings are the loveliest you have ever seen. You've done us a great kindness, and it's fair custom to return the gesture. If you desire anything from us, you need but name it. So, what is your desire? Rusty old coins, like you mortals have wanted to collect, perhaps? We are resolved to vanquish the Light Warden of this land. To that end, we de desire entry to Lia Gia. What a strange thing to wish for! You might as well ask for your death. But if that is what you want, who are we to argue? Very well, I shall speak with the others. You've clearly been busy, Orianger. Would it be so kind as to tell us what we missed? Exposition! So that was the purpose of the gifts. Is there anything you can tell, tell us about this light warden? Aye, my lady, by circumstance tra most tragic, the light warden of this land. Is our king and ruler Titania? It was so not always so, of course. Our king fought the li first light warden that threatened our home, you see. Fought it in one. But all the horrible light that came out went and corrupted them. Turning them into a new light warden. Now their king only in name, not remains of the wise and only just ruler that used to be. We have no choice but to seal them in the castle. The magic that break in the seal, we were divided into four and wove each into a different relic to be kept apart until the time was right. And this dress is one of them. It has been in our safekeeping for years and years, and we decided to entrust it to you. Are you sure? Of course, custom demands it. Though we are not most, we're, you're most certainly going to your deaths, we thought we should at least let you try. That way we can get to watch what happens. Of course, you can't break the seal unless you have the other relics too. The shell crown is with the fourth. The stone scepter is with the Numo, Numo, and the crystal shoes are with the Amaro. And good luck finding them all. The facts thus disclosed confirm my own understanding. Our quest lieth now before us. First, let us hie to the lake. There is to claim the shell crown from the Fwath. If we call to them... Before the untouchable gate, they will answer. Uh, I might have killed a couple of them, or defeated a couple of them, like earlier. They went to get some water from the lake, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to go. We'll see. It's talking kind of an interesting mortal has come to you, Meg. It's because Windsmall is such. It's you, isn't it, who even think to deny it? Although, I'm trying to get through this quickly. 
I'm all fun if my dream to become the most popular fairy of all. Why? Because everybody would fawn over me and that would be really fun. Uh, I'm going to skip through this. Uh, the club is big to you all. This is a Aether Current quest. Save for later. Wait. Wait. One, two, three. So I got three of them. Any more? Not yet. We need to deal with the floth. This is one of those things for Shadowbringers I just love so, so much that I have a hard time stopping. <laughs> I really should stop and do laundry, but I have to actually go into work tomorrow or Monday. So. Oh, bad Jeff, bad Jeff. Maybe I'm going to have to, like, maybe I'll do it tomorrow instead of streaming. I don't know. Hearken to me, O oh spirits of water. We have come for with an entreaty. That's a talkative mood, apparently. I'm not exactly sure how the gate works. If the floth or water spear, perhaps you should take our search into the lake. Oh, oh I suppose a brief dip wouldn't hurt. I don't know if Ankrid swims like an eel, and what about you, Menphilia? I can swim well enough. Ankrid taught me. Excellent. What about you, Orianje? I'm not sure I ever asked. Rather than swim, mayhap, I would be more expeditious to walk upon the surface by means of magic. <laughs> you too, Orianje? That you should be a kindred spirit. Worry not, my friend. I know some helpful tricks, and it should be more than happy to share them with you. Together, we will conquer the waves. What? Well, well, aren't we a lively lot? And you have an entreaty for us, you say? An entreaty for mortals? What a treat. I, my comrades, and I are on a quest to vanquish the Light Warden. To that end, we would humbly beg the loan of the Shell Crown, which you are given to understand is in the safekeeping of your people. Oh, is that all? Of course, of course. We, we, you may have it. You shall have it! Just like that. Uh, what do you want from us? Oh, oh no need to be super su su suspicious. The crown simply doesn't mean much to us, is all. As a matter of fact, nothing means much to us, for we, Fwath, is over. It's over before it's begun, and we couldn't care less what becomes of the Fairy King, nor the world, for that matter. Having said that, we do so soundly have mortal seldom have mortal visitors, it would seem a shame not to make the most of you. Touch the untouchable gate, and come hither to our domain, Don Mech, in our in our tongue, it means forbidden realm. Sounds forbidding, yes. And so it should, for we are one with the water, our home wrought with ripples and waves of currents. Find your way through. Give us thrilling sport, and we will give you the crown. Dungeon.
All right, so I got a new healer. Uh, I'm going to do this. Green, sit down, out. The only tank in this bunch, we don't have have our all-arounder of uh, the Crystal Lex Arc. But the tank, because he's a Grim Baker, is Thancred. And Oriange can heal because he's an astrologian or astrologian. Take your pick. I don't really care, but apparently it's correctly pronounced astrologian. What is love? What is life? Drink up, ye pot souls! I just thought something, but should probably eat some food.
Yes, enlightenment is essentially a Hadouken. Ah, guests have arrived. Locked on, Lord Lingering Gaze. Yeah, I'll do the limit break, Elise. Ah, crap. Mm. I'm just going to follow you.
Ah, damn it. I'm getting greedy. Voverts are item level 400, so they're exactly the. Basically, the next dungeon I'll start like replacing gear. Oh dear, I have dropped a, uh, it seems you have dropped a wasp nest. My apologies, but accidents do happen.
This one's fun. Hey, I was in the line of fire. Where? How? It's because I'm short, isn't it? Uh, everything's fine, though. Beautiful, you know, it's beautiful beyond words. Welcome, welcome to our humble palace. That way, way the crown, that's, that's that way.
Yay, leg. This is what I call a seahorse. All right, here we are in the third room.
Enkthon. Sorry, Alize.
Ta da! We also leveled up. Minfilia and Elfano. Yay, praise. Bravo! Amazing! Jolly good show. Oh, you do not hold back. But I would have it no other way. Seldom have I enjoyed such sport. We have satisfied thy demands. Will thou now satisfy ours? I just want to say, I kind of like these spots. Their, their sport is beating people's face. Faces in. I love it! This is my kind of thing. Blood sands and old dots. Great. Of course! Of course! There it is. The relic you seek. Yours for the taking. Have care you do not break it, though, yes. Ah, but you, my friend, you are mighty indeed, and pleasing to the eye, besides. Uh... I, I, I'm already in a relationship. Not really looking to date anybody else. More? I want to see more of him. Oh wait. Yes, yes! I could watch him forever. Why don't we just make him one of us? Uh, wait a minute. Yes! What? Idea. Why ever didn't I think of that? You may have the crown, but in exchange, we will have you! Well then. Wake up! Wake up, damn you! Oh, Hardbird. Uh. Uh. In the water. Oh. Ah, you're alive! Thank the gods. I don't know where you learned to breathe underwater, but it's lucky you can. Uh, the Kojin did a spell thing on me. I can breathe underwater now. It's, it comes in really handy. That's I suppose in this case. I can't drop. Oh. oh. Structures. Thanks for waking me up, by the way. I'm sure you had your reasons. But the first rule of dealing with the Fwath is do not deal with the Fwath. It's said that they are born from the souls of the drowned. Were it not for your little trick, you'd have joined them. Your friends are safely back on dry land, in case you were wondering. They'll be searching for you, I expect. Like an entire town down here.
That's the royal capital of the Kingdom of Verbert down there. It's seen better days. They were a stubborn lot, the Verbertites. Set in their ways. But once you got to know them, you couldn't find a more welcoming people. Hey, that kind of ramp reminds me of Ishgard. It always froze over in winter, being up in the mountains. So we pull up our like chairs Ishgard? round the fire and trade tales over steaming bowls of lamb stew, while the street lamps burned hot and bright outside. All dead and buried now. Them and anyone else who might remember. Everything we did. Everything we gave. What was it for? I wonder. I hope you'll have a better answer than this when all's said and done. Better swim to the surface. No, we're not rather than the short. Sure. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> I'm... I'm going back in. Nay, my lady, exhausted as thou art, thou wouldst only endanger thyself, I pray thee, rest of my There was nothing where, where we looked. As it goes. Oh, hey guys, what's that? What's going on? Well, uh, don't, don't worry, I survived because it's the token blessing. Dear gods, were it not for Sorobon's blessing, and I need not labor the point, I'm glad to see you safe as well, my friend. Have you any idea how worried we are to wash up on shore only to find you weren't with us? Oh, but am I forgetting? Oh, but I'm forgetting. Here's the crown, your majesty. Was kept that part of the bargain at least. Well, there are certain twists and turns. Our work here is done with everyone on the worse for weapons. Oh, thank goodness you're still alive! So, is there, is something amiss? It's a great big mob of mortals that is marching to, to Meg. Mortals with ugly weapons and uglier faces. They wouldn't happen to be your friends, would they? Uh, rather the reverse, I fear. The Umoran army, I, I guess. Meaning we can play with them? As much as you'd like, but just be sure. Um, just to be sure, I will return with you to confirm the identities. They are who we suspect. We will, lend, we will require your aid. If Alvaro is coming, then Ali's aid will be due. Can't have one without the other, you know. Uh, all right. Just remember, we're not your playmates this time. I'm afraid we must leave the rest of the relic hunt in your hands. It's fine, defeating the light warren would have would have always <laughs> It's fine, defeating the light warren would have always had fallen to me. <laughs> uh, 
Perhaps I would feel better if we were there to assist you. Back to cheering you on from far. See you afterwards, my friends. With our enemies fast approaching, time is of the essence. We must needs accomplish our mission with all possible haste. Among the Fey folk, they bear the distinction of having, having abided in these lands since before the flood. They are also the friendliest to men and have served me faithfully whenever so I have called upon them. Indeed, they are the source of much of the knowledge I have acquired in my time here. The path leadeth past my dwellings. Let us pray. I spent enough time with the twins. Now, now <laughs> they're separating us for a little bit. Over hill, over dale, hit the dusty trail, the vacation is going rolling along. Caissons, I don't, I, I don't remember the what, what word. Why say caissons? Over hill, over dale, we'll hit the dusty trail. In those caissons, go rolling along. In and out, hear them shout, come to marching all about. In those caissons, go rolling along. For it's high, high he in the field artillery. Shout out. Shout out your numbers loud and strong. Here we go, rolling stone. Let those caissons go rolling along. And it's high heat with the artillery shot. Anyways. I swear all these, like, really large monsters are actually really not large monsters so they're much smaller it's just they put it large for uh purposes of making it a little bit easier to fight <laughs> past yonder cliff lies pla ni the home of the numo the others have gone ahead to scout the area come follow us oh, I probably turned down volume that's what i should do Come, let us follow. This guy had a checkpoint leading you to, to where you need to go. Isn't there like a ether current like nearby or something? Nope. Or maybe it is along the way. If the path strikes thee as prodigious, tis because it is once a mountain trail. Was once a mountain trail. For, for where the lake now lieth, there was a valley in those in whose whose midst thrived the city of Obert. Was only when the when the froth came in the wake of the flood that the settlement was drowned. We stand now upon its former outskirts, grazing lands where shepherds once tended their flocks. Though one cannot help but feel the pang of loss when faced with such a spectacle, one can scarcely blame the Fey folk for, not, for so altering land. 
The blame of this lieth rightly with the light, a force terrible enough to bring an entire civilization to its knees, an entire world. That it should have been allowed to rise up unchecked is the greater regret. Yet in spite of all the tragedy which surroundeth me, me full glad am I of the chance to be here. Twas these hands which brought brought together the warriors of darkness and Minfilia, lest thou forget. Therefore, even were there there no eighth umbral calamity to forestall, it seemeth only right that I strive to deliver the first from its doom. Only right, I say, though such words ill convey the strength of my resolve. In truth, I can no more ignore the plight of this world than I can choose to stop breathing, and thus do I labor for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. The coming struggle uh, promise to test us to our limits so long as we stand together. I doubt not, but that we shall prevail. Ah, mortals, just as we thought. Hast thou business with us? Business? Ha, ah, nothing so boring. We smelled you coming and thought we'd come to play. They do not be pixies of leader Laan. Mine apologies, but we are in some haste. Mayhap another day. Oh, in some haste are you? Then allow me to hasten you on your way. <laughs> to the portation magic, for mostly they have not sent us far from our corpse. Should the pixies find us again, however, they must assuredly repeat the trick. We are not the time. We have not the time to waste. Let us avail ourselves of an enchantment. I have learned. A cloak. It is called a most ingenious magic, which rendereth one invisible to fey folk. Maybe, albeit briefly. Albeit. neck. I shall cast the enchantment upon thee under its aegis. Thou art to make thy way past the pixies and rejoin our comrades. Know, however, that the enchantment shall suffice to veil thee and thee alone. Be not tempted to employ a mount, as it will only serve to give thy presence away. There we go. Pixies leave, disappointment written on their face. I assumed you were right behind us. What took you so long? Ah, uh, some mischievous pixies. I see. Yes, I'd say it's a valid excuse for lateness. You are hereby forgiven. In other good news, the Nemo village lies just through here. 
Yeah, we'll enter as soon as Orianje deigns to join us. Hey! Ah! Ah! Mortals! Mortals are here! Lots of them! Lots of them! You can do that. Oh, uh, wait! Like you said, the Nemo were man's best friends. The poor thing so was beside itself in fear. It was beside itself, perhaps, but not with fear. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, I tell you. It, it, I have so many mortals appear at once. It's more excitement than we can bear. Greetings, Elder Wind Ake Tyranny. It has been a while. Pray forgive my brevity, but time is against us. We have come to borrow the stone scepter of the new moon. The stone scepter? Then you mean to lift the seal over the Aegea? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, I'll tell you. If the king is set free, none here will be safe. Unlike our fey cousins, we new have called this land our home since time immemorial, leaving it unthinkable. Thus did full many of us lay down our lives to seal away our king when they were corrupted by light. If we do as we ask, our sacrifice would have been in vain. Personally, I don't want to say just hand over the God's damn staff. But what did X as a good thing? Uh, don't worry, we'll defeat that day. It's going to be fine. Then you'll only become another light ward and it changes nothing. Honored Elder, pray believe me when I say that this man is possessed not only of the strength required to vanquish the king, but something still more valuable, a means to resist the res resultant corruption. Indeed, he hath already laid low the light wonder of Lakeland, all without succumbing to the influence of its light. He is yet stranger to this land, tis true, but he harbors the selfsame desire to see the sin eaters eliminated, as we do. Wilt thou not lend us thy hand, that we might see the beloved home restored to its former glory? Hmm. You've always done right by us, Orianger. If you have placed your faith in this man, then so shall we. As you say, we want nothing more than to be rid of the Sin Eaters. Be that as it may, this is not a decision to be made lightly. We require time to deliberate. A turn of the moon, perhaps. We don't have a turn in the moon, and thus we want to debate this with the Yomurin army. Elder, given all that is at stake, I cannot well expect these simply to roll over and acquiesce to our request. But even now, a powerful foe draweth near and I fear must beseech thee to hasten thy deliberations, that thou mightest fetch us the, the scepter while there is yet time to use it. Roll over. Fetch! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. You know full well that naught gives us greater pleasure than to render aid to men. 
You well, full well know, yet you speak the words of power regardless. It's unfair. Unfair, I tell you. Ah, <sighs> in happier times it was our honor to assist mortals in need and receive rewards befitting our deeds. Since the kingdom of Obert fell, however, we've been starved for men's patronage. After so many years of deprivation, it is difficult to ignore such an uh, earnest entreaty. Very well, Lord Yanje, I promise to give you as swift an answer as I may. In return, I ask that you and yours remain here the while, the while and bestow upon us your patronage. Is this agreement agreeable? Well, I suppose. Wid ink. Who will offer your patronage to our people too, yes? Let's see. Perhaps you, we can begin with Mon Ose. This is one of our foremost artisans, once held in the highest esteem by the Knights of Obert. With the knights gone, however, Mon Osius has no opportunity to put their skills to use. He'll be overjoyed for your patronage. One thousand one hundred and eighty in eighty two, one thousand one hundred and eighty three, one thousand one hundred and eighty four. Wait, did I already count that leaf? Oh, hi. Oh, who? What? Wait, you're immortal! Huzzah! Huzzah! Well met, yes, very well met indeed. Have you old and tired arms and armor that are threatened to fall apart at critical junctures in battle? If you answered yes, you come to the right numo. I will restore your equipment to pristine condition for a payment of a pair of moss fungus legs. Moss fung fungi roam just outside the cave. Please, please, please give me their legs and your patronage to me. Uh, oh. There's two.
Ah, you returned with the boss fungus legs. Nope. They are tools of my trade, lest you wonder. Used to polish metal and leather alike to a lustrous sheen. Now that I have work again, I must replenish my stores. How many moss legs will you give? Two. Two. Huzzah! Two moss, moss fungus legs as befit the work. Aye, to have neither more nor less expected of us than what we can provide. There is no greater joy. You see, for there, there to be honor in the task, we must receive precisely what is worth. Too little means you belittle our ability, too much means you question our integrity. You have given me fitting payments, so my services are at your disposal. I shall begin by inspecting your equipment. Hmm? Hmm, I see, I see. So I must ask for a small fee for the materials. I'm pleased to say that all your arms and armor may be restored. If you mean to change them in the near future, however, there is no need to hurry. My first repair is complimentary. Here's the coin on which you may pay me with when you desire to have work done. Many thanks for your patronage. Arnus's shop is open for business. Oh, and if you mean to offer your patronage to another, may I suggest he's goof. Youf. Yonder. Judging from your equipment, it is plain you are no stranger to bat battle. I believe East Goof will have something to offer you. Ah, to have so many men visit us at one day, it's a joyous day indeed. If I please you, please give me your patronage. As a patron, I ask that you remove the noxious mushrooms that grow in our cave. Flame spores, they're called. We would tend to them with magic, except they leave behind a harmful ash. You have no choice but to pluck them one at a time. Now you will be curious as to what I have to offer. I am a purveyor of wares that will aid you in your travels. In exchange for your fitting payment, I will give you my choicest items. This is when I have, what happens when I have too much fun. I've been streaming for another three and a half hours. We've already removed the flame spores. How very quick you are. Oh, and did you perchance search for the western entrance as well? I'm told that there are more have cropped up in that area. Take a look.
As you pluck the last of the flame swords, you sense a gaze from the entrance. Oh, hi, Minfil. Yeah, what's up? <gasps> I wasn't spying on you or anything. I just finished my task and... I should go and report back. Oh, you have returned. Have you dealt with the flames for by the western entrance as well? Yep, all taken care of. Excellent, Tomboy Poison. Spores are retaining our noses for a little while at least. Oh dear, I believe I am getting sentimental. Having a patron again it reminds me of the old days. There, every day, I could carry my wares to the castle to offer in exchange for a men's patron. Which Back then, the castle wasn't called Lea Gia. The Wilberts built it, and they called it Gruna's Lake. Like. It was their last bastion in the struggle against Sin Eaters, and now they're gone, all of them. Nobles, knights, and common folk alike. But enough reminiscing. I must give you what you've heard. And if you desire anything else I possess, we'll be glad to offer them to you for a fitting price, of course. Now, if you are offering your patronage or anything but else, if so, would you consider Widlard? They've been under the weather of late, and the ch chance to perform an honorable task would cheer them up. Nice. Primed up parasol. A primed up parasol. Ah, she has guys so green. I kind of need a stock up. I only have nine left. I have plenty now. By the way, the, the, the accent that I'm giving them is definitely not how they speak. Uh, what? Would you be my patron? You would be my patron? Oh, but I can't do anything for you. The lawless ones took my invisible ink, and without it, I cannot make my arcane wares. Who are the lawless? They're no more like us, except they've turned their backs on our values. Curse without honor they are. They refuse to work, instead spending all their time cavorting and making a nuisance of themselves. It was when I was outside for a walk when they set upon me and robbed me of my possessions, stink included. I was too weak to resist them, but you, mortal, you look quite strong. Do you think you could take my ink back from those villains? If you do this, I will consider it your patronage, and by way of my service, I will make you something very special. Excuse me, Eskos, but I couldn't help overhearing. If you mean to undertake this task, will you let me accompany you? I would learn from you, and help in whatever little way I can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're welcome to go. Do you like punchy faces as much as I do? Oh, I suppose you you got knives, so you probably like stabbing. Thank you so much. The lawless ones keep their lair in the south, inside a cave called Father Collard's Chambers. They took many vials of ink, and I would be grateful if you could bring as many back as possible.
It'll be a bonding experience. I didn't really, you know, get away from Daddy Sancred. Ah! He's a current. Not much of a puzzle, but hey. Isn't it a thing? This is going to be a while I'm here sort of thing. It's much of Mario. A summoning stone because they don't have a Mario keeps. Other colored chambers is through here. I peered inside it, and sure enough, it was filled with Numo. They looked, they looked none too friendly. If Thancred were here, he'd tell me to go about about it quietly and quickly. Let us split up. I'll find all the ink I can, and then come back outside. See you shortly, Eskos. One second.
They're all aggravating the other guy. Those new Mo were rather frightening. I'm glad you're safe. No, oh, I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, you don't need to worry about me. No, of course. How silly of me. You're a hero. The Minfilias before me battled Sin Eaters as part of the Yulmoran army. That had all changed by the time I was found. They held me captive, so that I wouldn't follow in the other's footsteps. I'd still be in my cell now had Thancred not spirited me away. When he found me, I knew nothing of the world. I didn't know how to live, let alone fight. Thancred once told me that if the efforts to summon you failed, it would fall to me to face the Light Wardens. I realized then that it was the only reason he kept me close. As a contingency. The truth is, he can't stand to be around me. Because I'm not her. I'm not his Mimphilia. <sighs> Once, we journeyed to Nabatharang together. To the place where the Oracle appeared and stayed the Flood. As we drew near, I felt as though I was fading away. I shut my eyes and covered my ears, and then... I'm not sure what happened after that. I have a vague feeling that I said something to him. Only it wasn't me at all. It was her. Afterwards, Thancra didn't say a word. Only kept to himself and brooded. There's nothing I can do for him. Nothing I can offer but my presence. Though it only reminds him of his loss. She should be the one to live on. That's why I tried to find you. Because I knew that was what she wanted. But now that you're here, I'm not entirely sure what it was she intended me to do. You something or, or bring you to someone or somewhere I can feel the answer at the edge of my mind just out of reach Why? Why did you imprison us? Such boredom, such tedium have we suffered. It is unfair. Unfair. Come. Come and play with us. It came from the castle. This is everything I have. Please see it delivered to the Numo. I will bear word to Thancred and the others. Well, it 
Van Gain Lago. Oh, and of course I got light. There we are. Fly me. Mercy, my majesty, no choice, please forgive us. Oh, it's you, B -b Mike. Are we able to recover? Ah, yes, this is Sneak. It's Oliver, too. When our king spoke to me, my day went from bad to worse, but thanks to you, it's simply bad again. What? You have the vision, too. Oh, woe is us. Ordinarily, when a living being turns into a sin eater, it loses everything about its mind and that defined it. However, the king has retained some of his instincts. This manifests a desire to play and be free. The strong is that desire often leaks through the seal to evade our consciousness. For a long time, we've ignored it, but we can't do so forever. But forgive me, I'm, I was going to thank you for re reuniting me with my ink. You did exactly as I asked, so I give you the service I promised. <clears throat> Nothing up my sleeve, and voila! I serve you well. He's right, take it. Ah, there's nothing like audible work. Thanks again for giving me the opportunity. Oh, I should mention that Elder Weed Ink. Ink. Weed Ink uh, turned a moment ago. If you seek them out, I dare say they have tidings for you. Okay, no, it's just a side quest. No, I was doing all these quests alone, and then all of a sudden a lot of people showed up to actually do the quest. Do quests alongside. Ah, there you are. I'm informed that you are an excellent patron to our people. For that, you have my thanks. How then, we'll be pleased to hear that we have come to a decision regarding the scepter. If you would gather your companions, I will deliver your answer. Oh, I forgot to turn the volume down. Which I will, since there's no voice acting. Before I begin, please allow me to express my gratitude for your kind patronage. Which, having been deprived of purpose for so long, our people are overjoyed at, at being able to serve again. And on to the matter of the stone scepter. During our deliberations, we are forced to concede that we will never have the power to deal with our fallen matriarch, monarch. We can release Titania and neither from the castle nor from torment. In light of this, we have decided to entrust their fate to you. Take it. The Stone Scepter of the Nimbo. That makes three relics. One more, we can arrange a meeting with the warden. Ere you can continue your quest, allow me to enlighten you as regards to your foe. Know that Titania is not a name, but a title bestowed, bestowed upon one chosen to lead the Pixies by the grace of nature. This leader, upon Ilmeg's founding, arose as ruler of all Feyfolk to bring order to our riot riotous kind. In our turn, we Feyfolk render our blessing unto, unto nature, unto water, wood, and wind, that our king might be further empowered. Though we have become... They have become a sin eater. Their powers remain unchanged. When we face, face them, be prepared to face the full fury of nature. Oh dear. Is there anything else we should know? Anything else? Hmm. Only that if you, you feel unready for the... Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can pull this quest.
Okay, that didn't do it. See if I can get the dialogue. <laughs> Here it is. What do you think else? Hmm. Only that if you feel ready for the challenge and none here would blame you for it, you are welcome to remain among us a while longer. After all, I myself have yet to employ your pat enjoy your patronage. Who knows when I would next have the chance. We'll see that you are comfortable, of course. Do all in our power to make you feel at home. Why? Honestly, I look away for one moment and every fairy and their nuncles tries to steal me, my sapling from me. This is my sapling. Mine do here. Not yours, not the foss, and anyone who so much as thinks about trying to do some more wish they hadn't. The final relic is a pair of shoes wrought of crystal. They are held by the Amaro in the Amaro safekeeping, their settlement in Volkendorf. Volken, Wolkendorf. Wolkendorf. It beareth mentioning that these Amaro are unlike those which thou hast herefore encountered. Owing to a particularity of evolution, they are capable of speech, and thus we might negotiate with them as we have the Fey folk. So it saddens us to see you leave. We wish you well on your way. When you arrive in Folkendorf, seek out the largest of the Amaro. His name is Seto, and he is the lead their leader and the bearer of the relic. Right. Do it. And I accidentally click, I gotta remember I do have resources to get the get the dialogue. Alright, speak with the enormous tomorrow. Uh Volkendorf. Use an Aetherite, take a teleport free charge. Yes. Although I probably could save it because it's not far. <laughs> Mm. Oh, there he is. Where are Sparrow Sumbers peacefully? Beto? Uh, Hobbit? Oh, forgive me, I was having a dream. Oh, them new men visit us. What brings you to our village? Yeah, we're looking for crystal shoes. Did I hear you all right? You desire the crystal shoes that you may confront the light warden. No, no, you mustn't think such. Even if you indeed immune to the light's corruption, as you claim, vanquishing the king will bring you naught but sorrow. Forget this folly. Return whence you come, came. While we appreciate your concern, we have no choice in the matter. Will you not reconsider? Come, my friends, let us leave him to his thoughts. Hmm, tis harder yet 
far to change the minds of those who mean well than who mean ill. Forgive me, but I'm not sure I understand. A little wonder, tis the, tis the first time thou hast set foot here. It would behoove you all to learn something in the nature of this community. I think there is no sure way than to speak with its members. In such, in such wise, you will come to understand such as reasoning for refusing us, and I hope gain an insight on how we, ye may yet be persuaded. So I bid ye seek out the Amaro and make yourselves known unto them. A gentle touch shall suffice by way of a greeting. Oh, how long has it been since last I felt man's touch? I cannot help but be reminded of my master's hand. He was a knight of Wilbert, a noble and valiant soul. But unlike, but like so many others, he died fighting the Sin Eaters. Though he is long departed, I remain in this land out of respect for his memory. Are you one of those treasure hunters? There's nothing left for you here. Oh, sorry. A uh, pet. Oh, that tickles us. Enough. I've never had a mess. Not a comp to it. Not that I dislike your kind, you understand. On the contrary, we Amaro are bred to be fond of men. In the beginning, we were all of us mongous beasts, but then the mage of Ranka gave us the gift of intelligence that we might better serve our masters. After that, Empire fed those with the gift eventually died out. On rare occasions, however, we are born with the seed of our ancestors in us. If we live long enough amongst men, the seed may quicken, restoring the power of speech to us amongst other things. So it was with me, though I never had a master, as I told you. What's happening? Why am I being battered? It's it's wonderful. Seldom do you have the chance to enjoy the attentions of men. Your kind are loath to come here for fear of the Fey folk. But then you, we are Fey folk too. When first we meet, made our home here, we swore an oath to the fairy king. You see, it's easy to forget sometimes. Thou hast peered into the hearts of the Amaro, I take it. Then thou canst not choose, but see the intense and impeat love they bear for men. It is out of concern of our welfare, not scorn, that Seto seeketh to dissuade us from confronting their king. Yet confront their king we must, and to that end we must needs have this crystal shoes. Eskos might have prevailed upon thee to confer with Seto in private. The task of slaying the Light Warden ultimately be thine. It is for thee, I believe, that he's he worthy that he worthiest most worthiest most. Tell him of of thy many de great deeds. Spoken in earnest, thy words may yet move him to change his mind.
You have spoken with my brethren. Then you see it is not out of scorn that I deny you the relic. I simply cannot bear to see men fight and die. Not any more. None of us can. To lose one who has placed a gentle hand on us even once fills our hearts in untold sorrow, as my brothers and sisters will readily attest. Yeah, when it's don't worry. Hmm. Oh my, to make of such declarations. Tell me, why do you wish this? This land is no longer man's to fight for, nor will your doing so compel the fey folk to change. But in order to obtain the other relics, you will already have paid the due price. Not more is owed. Why, then, would you risk all to face a fallen king? Save the world. What did you say? The very words. Would it be mere coincidence? Very well. You may believe what you say, but we shall see if you have the strength to do it. Sin eaters have been prowling the area of late. Prove yourself against them, and I will consider giving you the relic. See that you are well prepared, and then meet me in the clearing to the east. There I will lure out the fiends, that you may slay them. I will use my voice to lure out the sin eaters, as I once did when I hunted with an old friend. People cry for the ravenous, they might roar for the territorial, a mighty roar for the territorial. I still remember the tricks. But come, you begin at your signal. Ready then? Very well. You made sure work with those creatures, I will not deny it. I have seen enough. Let us return to Wolkendorf. Wolkendorf. I just realized I did that without Fist of Fire on.
By the, the ease with which you slew those sin haters, I see that you are capable. However, I still require time to think, and if you would be willing, there is a favor I would ask you. This is not a test of strength, but a personal request. Please hear my tale. A while ago, I fought Sin Eater, who were wandered into Illimeg. In the heat of the battle, I dropped a prized possession, a medallion of all the places that it should fall. It was Long Mirror Lake. We Amaro are not fond of water. We certainly cannot die very deep. I briefly entertained the thought of turning turning to the fourth, but they are more likely to keep my medallion out of mischief than return it to me. I had desired despaired of retrieving my treasure, but having seen what you are capable of, perhaps you'll be able to find it. While I ponder your request for the shoes, will you not go and search for my medallion? It would elude it should elude if it should elude you, I will accept it as gone forever. I think we're probably getting, starting to get to a point where I kind of need, need to stop because it's getting late. How long have I actually had this stream up? Four hours, Jesus. I am sorry to all YouTube YouTube folks. Dive? Nope, I got. Get out in deep water. There we are. Doesn't appear to be Zedo's medallion. Actually, I think it might be in here. There it is. I can teleport to Wolkendorf. Uh, no. I'm going to save the. Ah, you've returned. I've had your search. Doot doot. My medallion! You found it! Oh, I know not how to thank you. It is my most treasured possession. A gift from a dear departed soul. He was a traveler, and together we journeyed to the ends of the world and back again. <laughs> when I was young. In those days, I could not speak. But we found joy in each other's company nonetheless. Oh, the memories. This medallion he found during an adventure. Fashioned it into a necklace for me, his partner in crime. I had not the words to tell him then, but it filled my heart with pride. I was so, so happy.
His name was Artbert, and he was my friend. Artbert, thou sayest. Everyone blamed him for the flood, him and his comrades. Some few spoke up for them, of the many whose lives they had touched. But as the years went by, their voices were drowned out by those who only uttered the adventurers' names as a curse. It was too much to bear, and so I left behind men and their lies, and came to this place. Artbert was a trusting soul, constantly being drawn into the troubles of others. Yet, in spite of this, he never thought twice when he saw someone in need. He always tried to help. It was no different then. The world needed heroes. It needed him. And yet... He was a good man. He deserved to be happy. I wish I could have told him that, at least. Sure, our belt know how you feel. Knows how you feel. You remind me of him. Your kindness. When we Amaro were created, we were granted the ability to perceive souls. Thus did we recognize our masters. That ability has long since faded from our kind. But due perhaps to my reversion. I can see your soul, faintly, but surely. It is reminiscent of Artbert's, <laughs> strikingly so. Of course, you are you and no one else. We are defined not by the soul we are born with, but the path we walk. Nevertheless, I cannot help but feel that this is more than mere coincidence. Which is why I will place my faith in you. The relic. It is yours. Something happened at Lida Loran. Together with the twins, we were playing tricks on some nasty mortals to stop them from setting foot in Il Meg. At first, they ran off screaming, which was lots of fun. But then a scary, bony, wrinkly old mortal came along and spoiled everything. None of our tricks seemed to work on him, which is no fun at all. And now they're getting closer and closer. Ranjit. If he manages to find his way in, all our efforts will have been for naught. Hmm, as thou sayest. Should we be discovered ere our mission here is complete, and the Light Warden yet liveth, our task will be rendered nigh impossible. If we are to prevail, we must needs divide our forces. Thus do I propose the following. Whilst thou salliest forth to meet with the Light Warden, we shall join in the effort to obstruct the trespasses. Should we succeed in staying their advance, all the better. Yet even should we fail, if we can but delay our enemy's arrival long enough for thee to secure victory, our plan may still be deemed a success. So the moment the lights go out, we all beat a hasty retreat, yes? Let me come with you. I have the blessing too. No, Minfelia. You'll only get underfoot. Now come. I wish there were more I could do. Please be careful. 
Just keep him distracted. That's all I ask. I got this. Against my best judgment, I'm going to continue streaming the stream for four and a half hours. Uh, we'll, we'll get to this next part, but I really need to refill my beverage, so be right back. Yeah, this is a marathon. Forgive me, it seems my indecision has cost you precious time. But I am convinced now, convinced that you will triumph. To the south you will find the bridge to Liagia. As the banner of the four relics, the gate of the castle will open. Okay, so I refilled my beverage and then I quickly used the restroom and I totally forgot to bring my beverage to here. Yeah. Ten seconds.
turn the volume, down the volume. The gate has recognized that you better all four relics. The seal is broken. All that remains is to enter the castle and confront Titania, a being bereft of reason and mercy. It is is sure to be a ferocious battle, but if anyone can bring an end to our king's torment, it is you. Yet know this, my adorable sapling, though we fae folk may appear to live unfettered lives, there are still laws that bind us. We take back as much as is we take back as much as is taken. To create as much as destroyed, to give as much as received. In all things balance must be preserved, and the same will be asked of you. But don't worry, come what may your beautiful branch will never ever be at your side. This is not a dungeon. It is a trial. Being that it is a trial, it, it does not have a trust. We have to queue for it. What can we do while we queue? Look for Aether Currents. There is one nearby. There it is. One right about here, the end of the stream, which is about 20. In 513, where two rivers meet into the lake. I have three here to know, Meg. Hopefully this seven minute average wait time is relatively accurate. <laughs> relatively meaning it might go over seven minutes, but is close to that. Hopefully it doesn't get longer. There it is. Okay, I got that one. About thirty something, thirty six. At that one, one, two, three, four. Okay, the things are counterparts for this one. But here, literally twenty four eight. Okay.
Footage of a rock, okay, rock outcropping. Here it is. to the leafman holding a pickaxe at fort n Ah! I'm going to go there, there, do the two southern ones, which are kind of split apart. And 34. There it is. Sounds like or here.
Generation kick in. Think you would be seen if you if you murder an ar you'll you'll mur mur Think you would see an army over here, but Oh, that's off camera. <laughs> when giant mushroom covered log. There it is. Oh, the question is, how do you get up there? Ah, oh, here we go. Nope, shit. Have a few more. It's just about quest. And here, eighteen twenty-four. Roof of the sunken house. So is it above the water or is it in the water? Oh, here we go. I wonder if I could get to it before a timer runs out. But you can't. There we are. I just got one more. And then I just need to do five quests. Actually, four quests, because I'll be finishing up. Who goes there and are you the one who broke the skill? Uh, so much time lost, so much frolicking and feasting left undone. Must make up for it. We must get in by playing with you. I don't. I don't remember this one too much.
I forgot how this works. Don't attack. Crap. I can't see. Yeah, I, I I didn't even I couldn't even figure out where everything was going. Where am I? There I am. Try to with a little echo. Oh. 
Uh, reading on you. Reading on you takes. Why do I keep getting targeted?
Did they heal her LB3 before, like, most of the, everybody was down? Can we get a res on the healer? Don't stand in the thing! There's a res on the healer. I, I want to say the EOAs are really what's getting us. Or the, the, the targeted. We have also <laughs> like three melee people. BRB. BRB. <laughs> that explains everything.
Me, 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 water! I swear I keep hearing her say, I'm sick of this crap, crap hole pa castle, but it's cramped old castle. Fuck. God fucking damn it. It's hard to see. Do we have to tank him next to Titania? Can you, can you like...
There we go. There we go, one more light worn down. Two of four, two of five. You have freed our fallen king. Not that I expected any less, my Snayak. Snayak. The dress, the crown, the scepter, the shoes. The time has come for these relics to serve their true purpose. For they are not only keys to the castle, they are also blessings to be bestowed upon the new king. The way into the castle is opened when it is time to relieve the reigning monarch of the throne. And the brave soul who does the deed has the honor of taking their place. However, should you ascend the throne, you will become one of us, never again to live as men do. My adorable sapling, my precious mortal. We fae folk live forever, but such is not your virtue. To strive for a dream you will never see, to sow seeds that others might one day taste the fruits of your garden. That is the beauty of your kind. Burn bright and shine as only you can. These blessings, your lovely branch will accept in your stead. Ilichla, 
Il mec Okbra. Rejoice and rebel for the kingdom of rainbows is every yard. Now, shall we attend to those unwise enough to trespass in our realm? Meanwhile, back in Lita Loran. Confound it. How did they get here so fast? <laughs> Damn these pixies and their tricks! Oh, in the seven hells? Listen well. We come in pursuit of villains who have fled to this land. You know who and where they are. Now show yourselves and answer me before I lose my patience. Oh, stop it! Hurts! It hurts! Enough! Lift the enchantment! Minfilia! Willful child! How many times must I come to collect you? I won't return to your moor. And I won't let you hurt my friends. What is this stance? Where did you learn it? No oracle I trained would make such an unseemly show of herself. No, your shame, girl. You're powerless. You have no life nor purpose, save that which our master sees fit to permit. Who are you to dictate her purpose? To lock her away and deny her a life? If she was powerless, it's because of you, you sanctimonious swine. But no longer. Fool! Defiance only begets more suffering. It is through acceptance alone that one may find solace in this God's forsaken world. Look! The sky! He's done it. The warrior of darkness has triumphed. General? What are our orders? What do we do? We do what we came to do. Subdue this rabble and find the warrior of darkness. Forward, men! Take the villains captive! Are you deaf? I said! Charles! Axla Orwain! Axla Orwain! What? What's happening? Water? That wasn't there before! Orwaik and Sassi, Orwaik Kinsi. Help me! <laughs> What's the matter with you? 
Get a hold of yourselves, damn it! General, they come in greater numbers. We must retreat! All who stand with a warrior of darkness shall face justice. My master demands it. Exposition. I see. Well, it's a good thing Fair all volunteered to become king in your stead, for all our sakes. We are grateful for your timely aid, Fair all, or should I say, your majesty. It was the first night in recent memory. We all of us but wished to make the most of it. That's something you must remember about us Fey folk. Though our existence may be eternal, we exist only for the present. We live in the here and now, paying no mind to futures that may or may not be. To wit, we are not driven as men are. We cannot fight for such causes as men do. Does that mean you won't aid us against the Sin Eaters? <laughs> not unless the mood takes us. But if it was to repay a debt, well then, that's another matter. To take back as much as is taken. To create as much as is destroyed. To give as much as is received. Such is the way of Ilmeg. By this law, we shall lend you our strength. In return for the beautiful sky you have restored to us. In times of need, do not hesitate to call. Uh, what about a pact? Like... Nice stuff, messages, that sort of thing. Silly sapling. I shall remain at your side. Even should my body be in the castle, tis a simple thing to have a little part of me accompany you. Treat them as you would your isnefis. It's raining. Never for a moment did I doubt that thou wouldst triumph over thy foe, yet the majesty of thine achievement de delighteth me nonetheless. Night hath returned to Omeg, and we stand one step closer to delivering the first from its doom, and averting the eighth umbral calamity. Tis but a pity, though, that thou wert not present to see the Fae folk put the Omorans to flight. Was a sight to raise the spirits, I do assure thee. Ah, but what valuable allies they might prove, were the mood would like to take them. Alright, we're going to fight the half hours. <coughs> and technically, I should be going to bed because I could be up to record to come out loud tomorrow. Oh, jeez. I'm still going. I'm going to get to a certain stopping point. I'm pushing through. I should have cut this off at two and a half and then restarted. 
<laughs> we didn't have such a long video. I'm sorry. Thank her wishes to have a word with the hero of the hour. I knew you could do it, but not only because of your blessing, you have a strength all of your own is. It has seen us through many a trial. With the warden defeated, I believe our work here is done. It is time we were going, going, together, needless to say. To the bitter end, the fate of the, our two worlds, worlds being at stake, and all that. Now then, I suggest we hurry back to the Crystallium. Much and more may have happened while we were frolicking with the Feyfolk. That Ranjit elected to pursue us makes me hopeful the city was spared Wilmore's attentions, and I would sooner see for myself. Besides, I believe I speak for all of us when I say I'd have a belly full of I've had a belly full of Meg. Let us away from the fairies to play before the fairies think to play with us again. Yeah. Uh, those big teleports. Because I believe this is we're getting to a point here where uh, we'll have another. Uh, you need to rest a moment. He's in the middle of the thing. Here's a Hrothgar, okay. Well, looks like it's business as usual. All seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yulmor was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. And you are... Were one to study the annals of Galian history, one would find yonder visage on many a page. Though by rights, its youth should long since have faded. Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus Sos Galvus, founding father of the Garlian Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. As for my true identity... I am Emmett Selk, Asian. Well, shit. Gaius spoke of you, a native of the source. Equal in rank to La Habrea. And you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? Oh, it is truly Deeply. Infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. 
And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining. <sighs> Had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. But you had to come and ruin it all! Thanks to your meddling, light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters! Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? Happy to let me go, are you? Because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Look, it did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all. But that's no different from what Lerhebre did. And we all know how well that ended for him. And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Cooperation. I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. Since time immemorial, you and yours have labored to rejoin the Thirteen Shards, at the cost of countless lives. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Nay, our objective is the same as it ever was. Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once, might we not seek to find common ground? For good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew, scheme and conspire to my heart's content. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye, to understand what drives the hero of the source, to determine if our goals are truly incompatible. So come, shed your preconceptions. See beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised the proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Think of it. Thou hast delivered thy proposal, and we would not dismiss it outright. If I may offer thee counsel, however, to make thy case via an illusion reflecteth poorly upon thy sincerity. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Assian Slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. I take my leave, friends. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon. Well, that's awkward. Operation? He can't be serious, can he? Well, we've certainly been given much to ponder, but first things first. We should report to the Exarch. You can run along, Etsko, so we're perfectly capable of handling this little task. In light of your recent exertions, I say you've earned a rest. Go on, take yourself off to bed. We'll see you later, refreshed and ready for more. I, I can't... 
All right. Assist. Yes, mother. Walk the other direction. Like humph. I mean, I did just like fight not just a light warden, but like the fairy king. <laughs> oh, welcome back, sir. I've been expecting you. You'll find refreshments laid out in your quarters, and I hope you, they are to your liking. Will you be retiring now? Yes. Very good, sir. I bid you a pleasant evening. And see what that reward was. That's okay, because we got a cutscene. It also means... No. Here's food. Let's see what we got. Sandwiches, fruit. Like some tea. Okay. Hope the past few days have not been over taxing. Pray take your rest and recover. From the Exarch, is it? And with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move, you know? You probably think you're talking to yourself. Still, he's keeping you well fed. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was... Set adrift. I know little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Not that it matters. It's Emmett Selk we should be concerned about. When our world was about to be consumed by light, the Asin in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. Desperate as we were, we heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Athian's own making. They cannot be trusted, none of them, but Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did, and it cost us everything we held dear. He didn't have the sirens. At the uh, Science of the Seventh Dawn or something like that. It was just adventurers. Tell me about Saito. What? What about Seto? What is that to say? <sighs> All right. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big, and he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change. Small talk. We're warrior of light buddies. <laughs> wow, I hate that whole tray. <laughs>
All right. Now I'm gonna stop. I need to go to bed. Look past my bedtime. Anyways. Let's say I don't remember if this. What was the thing I got? I got a sandwich basket. Picnic worth scrumptious sandwiches. Picnic's worth of scrumptious sandwiches aesthetically arranged. Not be retrieved once used. Can be used up to ten times. Basically something I put on a table and I can eat from uh, in my apartment. Anyways, uh, we're gonna... Like, it's been almost six hours. <laughs> Oh god, I should I should have broken this up, but I couldn't stop. I couldn't, anyways. Oh, uh, thank you for watching. Found the Oracle and the Pixies and other Fey folk, Dalmoro. All right.